Good evening. Is the Orlando Gardener coming at you? Huh. Do y'all see this? Oh my goodness. All of y'all out in California, up in Canada, hello to all that are in Australia. This is amazing. This is tower gardening. And I have a specialist here. <laughs> My <laughs> goodness. I ran into this brother on Instagram and got invited to this educational tower gardening course. And it hadn't even started. And I am blown away. This is the Lando Gardener coming at you. And why don't you introduce yourself to the garden community? Yeah, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, my name is uh, Rafael Irastorza. Yes. Uh, I've been gardening for several years. Yes. But recently, I found Tower Gardens uh, roughly eight months ago. Okay. And what I really like about this, Kevin, is that you can actually grow a lot of food mm -hmm. vertically, right? Yes. You're taking advantage of space because okay. you can grow here roughly five to seven times more Mm -hmm. of what you can grow if you were to grow horizontally, right, in a raised bed. Really? So that's something that I really like. More than thing, a raised bed? Absolutely, yeah, because you can see you're growing you're growing vertically here. Okay. So the, the, the nice thing about this is that the water, the water, you recycle the water. We're okay. using roughly 95% less water than mm -hmm. the conventional agriculture. Okay. And the other thing that I really like and I like to tell people is, well, what can you grow in the tower garden? You're seeing here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, many varieties you're seeing here cilantro swiss chard we have kale mm -hmm. we have many other things but mm -hmm. more than 200 varieties of fruits herbs vegetables and flowers mm -hmm. if you like strawberries yes you can grow strawberries that's fun i just ate some on the way here <laughs> yeah and if you like tomatoes peppers cucumbers uh -huh. zucchini uh you call it eggplant. Egg we like eggplant a lot. Yes. So we can do that. Okay. So that's the beautiful thing of it. Uh, the nice thing about the tower garden, believe it or not, is that the maintenance mm -hmm. and the time that you invest on it is very, very slow. Okay. For example. Okay. So I started with one tower okay. back in June 2023. Okay. Now I have four towers. Wow. <laughs> and they take 30 minutes of my time per week. Wait a minute. 30 minutes. It takes me two hours in my garden, and so, you're doing it for 30 minutes? Right. So I have a, like in a good position where I go there and put the nutrients, the water. Okay. And the other thing that I really like about it, Kevin, is that I go to vacation, mm -hmm. okay, for seven, eight days, and I don't have to worry about my garden because I know the garden is working, the wow. water is being recycled through the pump. Mm -hmm. Works with electricity. Mm -hmm. There's a very, we can go there and show you. Okay. But right here, Inside, we have a low voltage uh, pump mm -hmm. that is taken. The good thing is activated right now, and it also has a timer okay. already into it. So you can go out on vacation. Yes. You have electricity. You have a pump that's working. The, pa the plants are being fed, and you make sure that you have your fresh, nutrient-dense, mm -hmm. and clean foods. And clean foods. Right? Now, you just said something very important because now that... We understand, you know, what's actually in the grocery stores. People are really, really getting into growing their own food. And I have met people from all over the world. Right. And I think this is going to be something that a lot of people are going to want to get into because people really don't even trust the grocery right. stores anymore. This yeah. is amazing. Mm -hmm. Look at yeah. that. And yeah. it, do you see already the tomatoes? Let me show you. Uh, you come here, we have some uh, Roma tomatoes. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Right. Ooh, I can smell them. The right. aromas. Ooh. Right. Wow. You have cherry tomatoes here. Very little maintenance. If I were to grow this in soil, mm -hmm. it's a lot of time. You right. know, that I would have spent into it. So okay. the nice thing about it is look at these rings that we have on the outside. Okay. This is a support cage. Here. So Yeah. So okay. that the plants okay. can actually find some somewhere to rest. Okay. If I were to grow them on soil, I would yes. have to tie them to soil something. Okay. Right? So, oh wow. This is 
amazing. Okay. It's you know efficient. Mm -hmm. The food grows roughly three times faster than growing in soil. Okay. Because all those roots hanging there are getting the right amount of nutrients okay. at the right time. Wow. So. Okay. Well, awesome. Well, we uh, this is the beginning of a, a good friendship, and uh, we're gonna have you on the channel Thank you. Uh, a few times. Thank yes. You. Yes. And if they want to get in touch with you. What do they what do they do? Right. Uh they you can visit my so, page on Instagram. Yes. G N G dot organic. Mm -hmm. Letter G, letter N, letter G dot organic. Okay. And my name is Rafael. All right. I like to teach. I'm very passionate about teaching. I teach at the University of Central Florida. Okay. I don't teach agriculture, mm -hmm. but I have a passion of teaching others. You know, do things like this. At home. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we're glad to meet you, and we're going to be doing a lot together. Yes, sir. This is the Lando Garden coming at you with many videos to come. Y'all have a good one.